All right, so today we'll be looking at the new Light Radio 2 SIM controller by Beta FPV. And if you're one that's thinking about getting into the FPV hobby, uh, but find it a bit daunting, then stay tuned to the video because this controller was made specifically for you and me. So let's go ahead and uh, take it out of the box and see what you actually get. the light radio 2 sim controller and i personally went with the dark blue color which i like uh, but of course there are other colors that you can choose from like crimson red pink light cyan lime green and light gray you also get a manual and a type c to usb a cable uh, for connecting it to a windows pc mac or an android device which is really cool because you can use it with your phone. So looking at the controller, you can clearly see that it is identical to the Light Radio 2 SE, which I have right here. And the only differences between them is that you cannot bind or use this one with any of your FPV quads. Our beta FPV designed it only to work with FPV simulators, and it's basically geared towards the beginner who's looking for an easy and safe way to learn how to fly an FPV. As you can see on the top here, it has the same four switches as the Light Radio 2 SE, which are the A switch, B switch, C switch, and D switch. And these can be assigned a function within the simulator app. Right here is the type C port where you connect the cable to and once you connect it to your computer or Android phone, it'll automatically power up. Unlike the Light Radio 2 SC, which powers up after pressing the button, the SIM controller doesn't power up in the same way. The joysticks use the same potentiometer gimbals as the ones on the Light Radio 2 SE, and they do have to be calibrated within the simulator app before you use it. Now, the controller has what they call triple mode sim access uh, which basically allows you to use it with any simulator out there to enter into joystick mode you just open the fpv simulator app of your choice and plug the controller's cable into your computer the button's led light will turn green and slowly blink on and off it should then automatically pop up on your screen and recognize it as beta fpv joystick for Xbox mode, you have to move both joysticks downward and inward at the same time and then connect the cable to the controller. The button's LED lights will then turn white and blink three times which lets you know that you're in Xbox mode. Now you can use it with the Aerofly, RC8, and DJI virtual flight simulators. Now for dongle mode, you have to move both the joysticks upwards and inwards at the same time and then connect the cable to the controller as before. This time the button's LED lights will turn blue and blink three times, letting you know that it's in dongle mode. You can now use it with the Phoenix RC6, which is a well-known flight simulator for professionals. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is show you how it works using the Velocidrone simulator app on Android. Unfortunately, um, my main computer broke down recently, and the one I'm using now just doesn't have a reliable uh, graphics card, so I can't demonstrate how it works on a computer at this time. But what I can say is that the process is straightforward and pretty much the same. Another thing that I forgot to mention here is that it's not currently compatible with iPhones or iPads which kind of sucks. So the first thing you want to do is install the app on your phone. Now it does work with other apps like Feel FPV, but I personally think that it works much better with Velocidrone. Now you do have to purchase it on the Play Store, uh, but it's just a one-time fee, and I believe it's around eight bucks or so, if I'm not mistaken. So once you have the app and have opened it, uh, you'll need to set up an account. Once you are set up and logged in, the first thing you want to do is tap on the Options tab. 
Then go to input. Now connect the Type-C cable to your phone and then to the controller. Wait a few seconds for it to connect and you should now see the controller pop up on screen under the name Beta FPV Joystick. Tap on the Assign Controller tab and it should automatically remember the controller for the next time you connect it. After you've done that, now you need to tap on the Setup Joysticks to calibrate the joysticks for the first time. Just follow the step-by-step -step instructions on screen that guides you through it. You also have the option to assign functions to the switches if you want to, but I just skipped this step. You can now go back to the beginning page and tap on the start button. And then when you're done, just tap on fly and you're ready to send it. So now that we've seen how it works, what's my final thoughts on it? Honestly, I like and enjoy using this controller on my phone, and I definitely see myself using it a lot. I think it's perfect for beginners just getting uh, started out in the FPV hobby who want something uh, that they can easily use without feeling overwhelmed. Um, the controller feels and acts just like the real one. And the best part is that you just plug it into any of your compatible devices and you can just start playing right away without, you know, the worries of crashing your newly expensive FPV quad that you brought and losing out on your hard earned money. Now, the only thing I wish that they could have done with the controller is add some Hall Effect gimbals to it. 
Uh, this would have made the experience much better and more realistic, especially when it comes to the actual command input. Um, the potentiometer gimbals, they're okay, uh, but they do lack in true precision. But that being said, it's still a great sim controller and I highly recommend it to those who are looking to get into the FPV hobby for the first time, especially those like myself who are used to flying GPS camera drones. Uh, this here is designed for you and me. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it and that you found some of the content helpful. I left the link below in the video description for those interested in uh, getting the Light Radio 2 sim. Y'all take care and God bless you.